Hi and welcome to a new video. My name is Hevik Juster and today I give you an introduction to my new online course Polymer Material Selection for Electrical Vehicle. Okay, let's get started. So you know for sure the situation, there are over 100 generic families of, of plastics resulting in over 1000 grades for electric vehicle applications. And the key question is how to select the optimal material for your application. And this question will, we will answer. However, first let's take a step back and discuss why plastic parts fail. So there was a study done by Mr. Wright and he investigated uh, the failure mechanism of over 5,000 plastic parts. And he found out that you can place uh, these failures in two, two um, main pillows, the, the phenomenological causes and the human related causes. And phenomenological causes, for example, this, their failures can be added, attributed to physical mechanism. And a good example is, for example, the environmental stress cracking. The human viewpoint, the second, um, there we relate the failures towards human related decision making and execution. And here <clears throat> there's a good graph. And uh, when you look at it, um, among these four major failures, uh, material misselection, poor specification is with 45% uh, the largest reason for this failure, followed by poor processing poor design and abuse. So we see when we have um, a good polymer material selection process in place, we can use this as a key to prevent failure, plastic part failure. So when you look now, we have this 100 generic family of plastic, which result in over 1000 sub generic plastic types which can be summed up to 20,000 to 30,000 grades covered by over 500 suppliers. <coughs> Sorry. So when you add up now the, these two uh, factors, material misselection, which is 45% the, the largest uh, reason for failure, and the diversity of the plastics, you can see that this is a a challenge even for experienced people to to find the, the optimal polymer material for the designated um, application and that uh, material selection process is a major key to prevent the failure okay now we have also the the rise of electrical mobility and when we look at the forecast uh, in 2027 there will be around 35% mild hybrid cars, followed by 30% pure electric cars and 10% plug-in hybrid cars, as well as 18% full hybrid cars on our street, together with the internal combustion engine cars, what we already know. And this rise of electrical mobility, of electrification also uh, leads to a change in the material requirements of, of plastic compounds. And when you look now at the hybrid technology where we have micro, mild and plug-in, uh, you can see that for micro and mild hybrid, so 12 volt and 48 volt, the plastic compound need to fulfill the same performance as it or is it already known in the internal combustion engine. So a uh, few modifications are needed. However, when we increase the voltage, towards 400 volt and uh, towards plug-in hybrid, um, we have the, uh, another new important requirement, and this is the flame retardancy, which needs to be ensured of, of the components. And here, first modification needs to be already done for the plastic parts. And we look now at the full electric cars, where we have voltages between 400 and 800 volt and even above that. Uh, a part of the flame retardancy, we have also electromagnetic shielding as a as an additional requirement because we have to shield the different um, power electronic control units 
uh, and ensure proper functioning of all these components. So when we look now, what does it mean polymer material selection uh, in electrical vehicles? So here we focus on mainly on the battery components, on the traction motor components and uh, the power electronics. So these three groups. And the, the major motivation is to help to resolve the jungle of the crates and applications and uh, really get a better understanding what material class, what crates are suitable for which application. Okay, now let's continue with the introduction to the course content. So the, this new course is split into seven modules and in these models I will show you why proper material selection is important. We already briefly touched on that when you think of the 45% in plastic part failure. Then I'll show you how electric cars work and the main electric vehicle architectures. Then we have a look at the polymer material requirements. This is also what we already uh, touched on, that those are changing and that we to apply new technologies and how this is related to the different applications. Then the core of the course is the, the use of commodity polymers, engineering polymers and high performance polymers for the different electrical vehicle applications such as the battery, traction motor and power electronics. And I will also show you how to compare the different materials and applications to each other and what are the suitable materials from all major material suppliers. So let's have a, a, a deeper dive into the different models. So model one, here I'll show you the importance of proper material selection. And also, again, this discuss the question why plastic parts fail. And here you see already a, uh, a preview to discuss the environmental, thermal, chemical, mechanical reasons of failure combined with time. And I will also introduce you in a, a system to, uh, to select um, the, the polymers in a, uh, in, a, in a systematic way, what I call the polymer selection funnel. It's a four step process. And um, yeah, this is the, the model one. Then the model two, there we have a deep dive into the electric vehicle architecture. So how electric cars work, we will discuss the, the three major, major architecture parts, um, the battery, the traction motor and the power electronics and with all the, the parts involved and what are the function of the parts. Then in model three, we talk about uh, the plastic material requirements, the technologies and the application. So you see already here an overview uh, of the different requirements. And when you think in electric cars, the electrical property properties increase, the flame retardant levels increase, the chemical properties uh, are increasing and also the um, comparative tracking index requirements are also increasing. And we will discuss all this in, in detail. So frame retardancy, uh, EMI shielding, overmolding of parts, how to prevent electrical corrosion, um, the tracking resistance. So here we, we discuss all these new requirements which need to be fulfilled. Then model four, five, and six are uh, dedicated to um, materials, polymer materials and their applications. So for example, commodity polymers is model four. Here we discuss polypropylene, polyethylene, so polyolefins in general, and focus on exterior and interior uh, application as well, battery and wire and cable. Model 5 is dedicated to engineering polymers, 
where we discuss all major engineering polymers which are known and in the application fields of battery packaging, thermal management and electronics. And the model six is dedicated to high performance polymers and other different applications fields like power control unit, extraction motor, battery thermal management. So model four. So here you see a, a snapshot content, uh, which is also available on the on the uh, the homepage used the minus polymer minus training dot com for commodity polymers. So we will discuss the polymer performance pyramid and then we already deep dive um, always naming the polymer and the suitable application. So we for polypropylene we will discuss center console structures, front and rear pumpers, door panels, battery system and thermal management system applications. Uh, and ending with a summary. The same we do with, uh, in, in model five with engineering polymers. So here again, a snapshot from the course content um, where we discuss the, the major material classes so PPT and then the applications. And, uh, and here you can also see, so we go through PPT, PA6, PA66, PA610, polycarbonate and PPE, and also closing the chapter with, um, yeah, with a summary. Same is valid for model six, high performance polymers. So here we have also the major classes, PPS, PPA, LCP, peak, flu polymers such as PVDF, PFA, and also amorphous like PAE. And the different application rangings from high voltage bus bars, um, so traction motor components, uh, and also battery components and uh, closing again with a, with a summary. Then model seven, so the last model of the course, there, this is dedicated to application charts. So here's the idea to, to compare, for example, material requirements versus polymeric materials. So here's a, a snapshot. Uh, we have the polymer and then the different material requirements and if it is suitable or not. Similar we do with material requirements versus the components. We uh, compare also um, high voltage applications versus the different operating temperatures versus the polymeric material. So those charts you can then download also and use during the material selection process as a su support. Okay, this was a, a preview of the content of the new course polymer material selection for electric vehicles. So now uh, it's in your hands, start your training now, get familiar with uh, different polymer compounds suitable for the different applications. And uh, it's important there is a free training sections available. Um, to get familiar with the, the course, with the Thinkific platform itself. And I invite you all to, to register there and have a look uh, at the different previews. And then you can decide for you if this is the, the right uh, course and, and to pr proceed with the whole course. So we'll link it in the description box below. Okay. That was it. I'd like to thank you for your for for watching and till next time. Bye.